What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the CFL, the CFL recruiting series. I was about to say podcast, but it's a little something different, clearly, right? And today, we are going to be talking about another recruit for Coach Nancy. Coach, da- where does his class rank right now? Where where does Mississippi Valley's class rank right now? Like, I need to know because the guys that they are getting. It's going un it's going underlooked, right? Like there people are overlooking this. And I feel like next to JSU and next to FAMU, probably even better to FAMU right now, they have to be there. Valley has to be there with the guys that they're getting from these JUCO uh colleges. And this kid is no different, man. He goes by the name of Kentario. Davis, right? He is committed to Mississippi Valley, of course. He just done so, I think, yesterday, if not today. Uh, he is a 6'1", 285-pound offensive lineman. He's a little short, obviously, at 6'1", for an offensive lineman, but what he does not have in height, he makes up for with skill and tenacity, right? So, and um, fundamentals, fundamentals as well. So, he comes from Joan Jones College, right, which is a JUCO. Now, in 2019, his freshman season, he played in nine games, and he helped the team average 194.2 rushing yards per game, right? Which I think was 11th in all JUCO football uh, teams in the country. So, a very successful freshman year. And then in 2020... They they shortened the season because of COVID, so he only played in five games, I believe. Um, but everybody played five games because you know again COVID, and in those five games, he graded out at a ninety two percent versus Southwest. Right, he's a violent player, and this is the words coming from his coach. He's a violent player with a phenomenal footwork. Phenomenal footwork. When have you, when do you hear that from offensive line prospects anymore, right? Violent player, phenomenal footwork, dangerous when he plays confident, dangerous, okay? He has a great jump in pass sets, and he wants to hurt people. I'd be a little scared. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, the, he wants to hurt people, and he has a great jump in pass sets, right? At this point, Coach Dancy and Mississippi Valley State are a quarterback away from being a being an above five hundred team. I'm I'm so serious. They are a quarterback away. That's all they need. That if Coach Dancy can pull that out, it is over for a lot of schools. They no longer is Mississippi Valley State a homecoming team. Y'all got to know that. No longer will they be a homecoming team. These dudes is ready. They're, they are ready, right? And I'm, I'm just so excited to see how it turns out for them next season. Hopefully they don't, hopefully they, I'm not even going to say it. Um, Now, with that being said, um, if you would like to donate to the channel, you can do so right here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Keep in mind, Thursday, this Thursday at 7.30, we will be breaking down South Carolina State in the Celebration Bowl. For those of you who have questions on South Carolina State, you can answer them. We will answer all of those questions. Me and Mr. Terrence Tucker, the South Carolina State insider and journalist for the team, will be answering all of those, all right? But with that being said, thank you so much for watching uh, my video. Um, With that being said, I'm out. Peace.